The only thing on my mind right now is wood. Hello everybody and welcome back to a Minecraft Let's Play where today we are going to be collecting different types of trees and saplings in order to make the ultimate wood farm. Now, when I say the ultimate wood farm, I'm not talking about some mechanical doohickey that, you know, involves redstone and actual skill. I don't have that. I'm talking about farms that are easy and beginner friendly for a beginner like me. Not in terms of skill, well maybe in terms of skill, something that can be easily achievable to get a lot of wood early game if you missed last episode we went down to the depths of that cave died a few times and got some diamonds we have a full set of diamond tools and a full set of diamond armor so hopefully the dying will ease up a little bit my goal before building these farms will be to collect each sapling that i can we already have the oak and birch sapling and we will be using similar farms for both of those because they're the easiest to farm i see that we have jungle wood out there dark oak over there and hopefully somewhere around here we have acacia and spruce because if i'm correct outside of mangroves which are god awful to work with to begin with we will need oh and cherry blossoms but if i'm correct those should be all of the farmable tree saplings that we need now where this will be interesting is how i'm going to travel to these different wood source areas and by that i mean finding the most efficient path of getting the most saplings i think if i start this way with my boat which is down here so we're already off to a great start but if i start this way towards the jungle saplings then we can get some of that wood along with the saplings and i just realized i've been referring to the trees as saplings but you know what it doesn't matter but from here i'm going to head over to the roofed forest biome to get some dark oak trees and some dark oak saplings well here we go our first bit of jungle wood you know this is a relatively ugly wood and i don't really use it all that much ever in building. I think I've used jungle wood once for a base, but you know, this world is about wealth and I wanna have all of it, except bamboo wood. Those are, that, that is not a good looking wood. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna wait for them to fall naturally and we'll continue collecting wood from around here. Aha, there you are. Give me the sapling. Thank you. Now the question is, should I wait to get four saplings from here? Because while you can grow these as a single block, it would be smarter to get four from the get go. Okay, this is taking a lot longer than I expected, at least for one tree. Like, I mean, come on, how, how long does it take to decay? Is it cheating if you increase your tick speed? Just been running in circles waiting for more saplings. This is great. This is, this is peak Minecraft gameplay. Somehow I was able to climb up to the top of this tree without a tree. Oh crap, but I'm not gonna be able to get down. Just kidding, really had my hopes up. It's two sticks. I thought this was gonna be a sapling. And the one that comes out of here isn't even a jungle sapling, great. Well, I guess I could chop down this one and get cocoa beans along with wood. It has been an entire Minecraft day and I am still just waiting for my saplings. Okay, this is starting to feel a little insulting. Not a single sapling. I've chopped down like four trees since I last cut. Okay, you know, I would say we're rocking with three but I don't trust this game because the second I accept three and take it back to my house is the time that I don't get trees from the trees that I grow. So I'm just gonna hunker under this tree and hope something falls on me. Oh, I just heard a pop. Oh, thank you. Off to the roofed forest biome, which is arguably the worst biome to go when you're locked on hard. Oh, but I have such a pretty house. All right, this is when things get interesting. Oh wait, creeper. Hey, another creeper. Oh gosh, lost the ability to sprint. Not really, but I ran into a tree, took away my sprint. Chicken. Good thing to know we have a birch forest so close. Like it's not the easiest farmable tree. Oh, look at that. It's actually pretty close. Good, now I don't have to venture into the depths of it. Oh, but we're still gonna have problems. Uh... -huh. uh Okay, this is already turning out to be fun. Actually, that wasn't that bad. Placed on a torch so I can see and you can see. Now, one of the things with this forest is you actually have to chop down a lot more trees than you think because all of them are pretty much connected and you need enough gone for the trees to start decaying. Now, hopefully these trees aren't as stingy with their saplings as the jungles were jungles as the jungle trees were but you know you never you never know with these you know you never know that might be an oxymoron on this episode of i can't see anything on my screen and look at that we've got more than enough just by sunrise that is perfect let me chop down some of these I thought you get mushrooms from this but you do get mushrooms oh wait there's tons of mushrooms around me okay i'm just dumb i know this isn't wood but you know having a big mushroom farm 
won't hurt. Now, of course, if I want to survive off a of mushroom stew, I have to get the brown one and be faced with a spider guarding it. Give me your mushroom. Now time to put these in a dark room where I'll forget about them for the rest of the series. On the topic of tree farms, I still haven't forgot that when I hit 100,000 subscribers, I need to finish the birch farm on my old back to beta days world. For those of you who are new to the channel, I promised about actually almost a year ago today that I would finish, well, yeah, almost a year ago today that I would finish my birch farm in my first Minecraft world when I got 100,000 subscribers. And I plan on sticking to that, no matter how long it takes. I may be 80 years old one day, decrepit and unable to play Minecraft, but dang it, I will finish that tree farm. Okay, new note, whenever we're in the nether, I'm going to get soul sand and magma blocks because I need an elevator up that mountain. Quick pit stop here will help me out with storage. How I ended up with cobble on a hunt for wood is beyond me. Okay, now off to the cherry blossom biome. Try saying that three times fast, cherry blossom, Cherry blossom biome, cherry, I can't even say it. <laughs> cherry blossom, cherry blossom biome, cherry blo Okay, never mind. Oh look, it's the ravine that I came out in last episode. Boy, I tell you, they really did a good job, the land generation in this new update. There are some weird flukes and stuff like that, but it looks so much more realistic now. Add Terraforge on top of that. Terraforge? I think that's it. Yeah, add Terraforge on top of that, and you got yourself a beautiful Minecraft landscape. And I think that is a dripstone cavern in that mountain, which doesn't surprise me you know they're usually found in mountains all right give me that sweet sweet pink cherry blossom wood i already can't reach it perfect you know i really like the sound they added for these ones it, it's it's nice it's like a it, it's it's i don't know it's a satisfying sound just sounds like a good quality wood and i know in real life cherry wood is actually good quality bees what are you doing here oh gosh am i destroying one of their homes nope you just like all the flowers continue with the deforestation yes i will why'd i say that like yoda oh well who cares all right for cherry blossom trees i feel like that's more than enough sound Saplings. Wow, this is a big cherry blossom biome. Oh, hoity ho ho. Look at that. We found a brand new deserted portal. I'm breaking sharpness. Take this obsidian. And this gold now that I can mine it. Actually, no, we'll just take it all. I'm still here mining. It, it's been like five minutes. Hey, I do not miss that. Okay, so I think this is the part of my journey. I turn around and go to easier landscapes. Like the damn cliffs of England. Beautiful though. Look at that. That is a wallpaper if I've ever seen one. Gosh, Minecraft is amazing. Heidi ho, another village. I think I know where we'll be spending the night tonight. Gosh, I mean, just look at that. Would you just look at that view? Amazing. I still can't believe this is what Minecraft looks like now. Well, at least for people with shaders. Okay, that was a lot. Out of my bed, fool. Now on to the next type of wood, which I I believe would be acacia and i think that's some up there it kind of looks like it they're they're weird looking oh yes that that is that is indeed acacia wood wow that is a violently steep and tall mountain peak look at that thing hold on jeez look like dang andy's mountains acacia is probably like my least favorite wood i did make a commitment that i would find every type of farmable wood except for uh except for mangrove because that tree is like 98 percent root but we will also be climbing this this mountain right here. I need to get to the top of it. And what the heck is that? Looks like a big old ocean arch. Yeah, they 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 really did good with uh, the new generation. Oh my god, I didn't even wait for the saplings. Okay, three saplings is enough with acacia. Plus, I know where the biome is in case I ever run out. Now up to this beautiful peak. Whoa, this is a lot cooler than I thought it'd be. Wow, 
This is absolutely crazy. And honestly, look at that. Look at that craziness around me. I'm recording in replay, so I'll be able to put up some B-roll about this, but I think this is like uh, equivalent to a caldera in real life or a media crater. We shall call this the Great Crater. I have dubbed it that and it shall remain that. Now I just gotta get down. Okay, that wasn't that horrible. I stand corrected. Hello. Oh, look at that. It's a little armadillo. Hey, buddy. Aw, aren't you cute? You know, this has honestly been the most fun I've had in Minecraft in a while. Just exploring things and enjoying, you know, the world for what it is in this game. It, it's just really nice. And it really makes me appreciate the game on a whole different level. Now, last but not least in our hunt for wood to start off this episode is spruce. I don't think I'm gonna find, I don't think I'm gonna find a spruce biome uh, near here, but hey, look at that, we got a mesa. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna find a spruce biome, but hey, we've got badlands, which means we can collect clay and well, it's technically terracotta, but you know, who's paying attention? Oh, oh, I've just had the best idea. Oh, we can so do this. Ready? Leap of faith. Oh, crap. <laughs> and of course we respawned in the village. That's okay. I'll be able to get there uh, quickly. Mainly because the Mesa and Savannah are right there. Now running around naked in the dark? Sounds like my Friday night. I mean, sounds like a bad decision. I'll make it there and we won't have any issues. All right, we did have a few mishaps. But I see my XP and I'm worried that I'm gonna have to do a lot of traversing for my things. That would have been horrible. Oh, look at that. It's all down here. Cool. Yes, there's a positive to going splat. There's gonna be a few things up here. That makes sense. Let's see. Yes, give me that. Give me that. Um, sir, get away from me. Actually, what? No, I'm gonna my stuff's gonna despawn. Dang, I splatted really far. All right, do I see anything up here? Yes, I do. Uh, I feel like most of me just splatted. Like there's a few things right there. And then I think that's the rest. Yeah, that is essentially everything I had. Question mark? I think it is. That's one way to get down a mountain. Go ahead and recuperate everything I had. That, you go like that. Not lose my torches. Dry shut up thank you thank you that there's that and there's that okay we're good to go something tells me that this is not the village of my house but it's a plains village in a savannah doesn't matter i'm taking their bed all this for a spruce biome and what the heck is that well okay we have to check that I'm gonna pretend like that didn't happen okay well we have to check that out well i see a desert you mean to tell me that that whole thing is floating nah, i gotta send out the drone for this one
I mean, come on, look at that thing. There's no way I can get up that normally. I, I, I would have to tower. This landscape is really, really cool. And I see a desert well. Is that what I think it is? Oh my God, we got another one of those. What the heck is up with this? That's crazy. I'm going to send a drone out for that too. It's like big and flat and there's a few little trees on it. And well, I'll be darned. Well, dang. It looks like we are going to get some mangrove trees. Now, I'm curious, do these drop saplings? How does how does one grow one of these? I guess that would be my question. Is it is it these things? Propag propagule? Mangrove propagule? <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google this. Okay, never mind. So it looks like the little propagules are what I need to regrow them. Good. So I don't have to start chopping down a ton of mangrove trees. Actually, give me this cat and give me some sand. We're collecting all types of stuff. Actually, let me get let me let me get a stack of sand. Eh, half a stack's okay. You know, it's weird. That is completely natural, but it almost looks like someone already towered up in the world. <gasps> Hero Brian's in my world. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. It's just water. All right, boys, what do you got for old bean and pillage your tower and leave you? All right, let's see what you got for me up here. Probably gonna be some mid stuff. Wow, incredibly mid. Hey, some more wood though. So I think my best bet for finding spruce is gonna be up in this direction. And given that the sun is in this direction, I'm gonna say that my house is just over the hill right there. Is that a parrot? That's a parrot. Hello, buddy. What are you doing? Hey, come here. See if I can get you. Move, chicken. Okay, he doesn't like me. It was never meant to be. And that is crafting table number how many? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now we have a bed to travel with. Keep in mind that this is still like the first part of the video. I haven't started building my tree farms or anything yet. See, this is also why I said last episode that depending on how efficient I am, it may end up being three episodes to get three farms done. And it's starting to look like that. And that is a very large hole, a lush cave. We won't check that out because that's not on the agenda, but I will mark it in my mind and the coordinates. That's not too bad. I thought we were a lot further than we were. Oh, finally, we're literally out of the jungle. Just when you think you're going to find spruce, your hopes and dreams get crushed by none other than birch forest. Just going to throw this random fence post here, never to find it again. You know, I have a feeling this cherry blossom biome will lead us to spruce. I also have a feeling that I'm just doing a big circle around my house because I think it's in that direction. Wow, that is a very large mountain. But if I'm going to be honest, these snowy peaks are actually promising to me because it appears that Minecraft uses basic logic of, you know, dry biomes being next to dry biomes, hot biomes being close to each other and cold biomes being near each other. So I think this is a good indicator that we are getting close to spruce and there it is. All right, let's see if there's something closer first. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to go either that way or that way way to get spruce i think that way is a little bit closer but this way has a village so we're going this way oh hold on look at the northern lights oh that's so beautiful look at this dude look at this i can i can this could be wallpaper just taking screenshots right now dude absolutely unreal visuals with this shader pack and you fools do not shoot me ow they are not good at following directions hey look a blacksmith dude come on what is this game oh look at this it's just breathtaking i'm starting to realize that this this is why you adventure in the game right here like Jeez, man, these visuals, I love them. I mean, come on, look at that mountain range. Wow, this is just, and the craziest thing is I never really got to experience the full force of Minecraft's new generation in my old world because I generated it a year ago. So that means that it was last year's generation. Yes, it was still like this, but it wasn't as refined because Caves and Cliffs had just come out and honestly we're not terribly far away we're only 2,000 blocks away from spawn normally for new materials I have to go like 10,000 blocks away but it seems like here we got blessed and was that a goat it was hello Mr. Goat oh you guys look really dumb now we must return home I have a feeling it's in this direction but I just want to double check and make sure all right yeah so I was actually dead on the money because if you zoom in right here this is where I'm at and then if you go up here you can see that spawns right here and my house is right here but look at all that area we ended up going out here around here up through here over through here down all the way over here and then up to these mountains and now i just have to make a straight shot home with a little turn to the left so that actually shouldn't be that hard also if you want to use this software this is called unmine it's very useful as you can see, it doesn't show you chunks that you haven't explored, so it is not cheating. That is a large village. And off we go on our way home. And since it's not too crazy of a journey, I'm just going to cut 
to when I'm back at the house. If I come across something or die or do something crazy, then obviously I will record, but I'm just gonna make my way back to the house. I'll try it again. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, that we are, we are cooked for that one. All right, so luckily we are far enough away to where these chunks were unloaded. So I'm just gonna grab myself some food here. These carrots should do fine. And maybe a sword, but I should be able to get my stuff back. It is again on the edge of some area, but we should be able to reach it. Picking a sword, that'll be fine, that'll get me. I cannot believe I got cocky and did that. It, uh, to be fair, it was really close, but I definitely should not have done that. All right, well, I think we're close to where we so uh, needlessly died. Should be right up around here. Yep, I think it's actually right up there. Look at all my XP orbs. All right, is everything okay? Looks like it. Like I said, these chunks weren't loaded. I have my simulation settings at the lowest possible. One, so we should, doesn't look like I lost anything, except my dignity. All right, it looks like I've got everything of value. Let's reorganize again. And and let's head on our way. Those saplings, those saplings. Okay, good, good. Don't need the rotten flesh. Don't need the cobble. And that should be good. Back home we go. The safe way this time. Ah, home sweet home. Never thought I'd be so happy to see it. But we actually weren't that far, which is great. Now what will probably be 10 minutes of the video, maybe 20 if we're lucky. We still have yet to build the farms. Whew, that was a lot. But I think we have every sapling in the game so far. I'm not 100% sure, but let's see. I think I lost my torches, but that's okay. I realized I might not have picked them up. I'm gonna harvest my farms real quick before we get started on the tree farms. Breed cows. And let's throw this stuff away in our chest for now. Now finally, on to the next part our tree farms and what looks like a split second was actually a few days so if something in the background has changed that's because i've been away for a few days i know exactly where we've left off we're off to building our tree farms and one thing i learned over the weekend is i actually got every single overworld tree that you can have so there's a few ways that i want to do this and i want i want to make sure that i'm building the appropriate farm for each tree now starting with our four by four trees I want to do kind of something where it's almost like suspended. If I do that, then I don't have to worry about things like spreading podzol to areas that I don't want it in. Now for this one, I just want a platform where we can put our large trees on. This will be mainly for dark oak, jungle, and spruce, because outside of that, you know, you only really need to grow one at a time. Uh, dark oak is, you know, you have to grow a few, but it's not, it's it's not it's, it's still a large tree now the amount of detail i'm going to put into this isn't going to be crazy i mean we basically have the whole farm right here the underside however is where i'm going to want some i think i'm gonna make it look like a tower i was gonna make it look like you know it's floating but i just i might just make it look like a tower if i'm being honest now the hard part is finding the exact center which honestly, I think I have an idea. I would not recommend this at home, but it is a way to find, <laughs> all death aside, it is a way to find where I've landed. And you know, you probably, I probably could have just opened my chest, took the extra time and picked up some scaffolding, but where's the fun in that? At least now I have a reference point. And you know, I still never got that dirt. There we go. All right, now, I can build up and yeah, this is it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flatten this out at least to this point and then tower up four wide, right? Yeah, no, two by two. All right, now I know that looks pretty bad right now. I will add details to it later. I think it's a good start. Like I said, I'm not really going for looks right now. I just want, <sighs> That one wasn't even anyone's fault. That was just me being bad at the game. And it appears somehow I've lost a shovel. Oh, somehow it went all the way back here. Well, I'm glad I found it. Now I know it's not the prettiest thing, but my thought process is, is that once I do get a lot of wood built up, I can build a nice facade around this pillar. Until then, I think I'm just gonna have a cozy, simple little turreted look. All right, yeah, but that, Probably doesn't look the best, but you know, it's a tree farm. 
Now, like I said, this should handle pretty much all 4x4 four four trees. I mean, not 4x4, four 2x2. Four, two two. Dang, I'm bad at that. We'll toss a chest right here and store that in there so that we have access to large trees. And then just for a quick test to make sure everything works, let's try out a giant spruce tree. And there you go. And you can also see that the podzel is luckily contained out here in its own island. So we'll keep some bone meal in there along with the other saplings. Now moving on to the birch trees, there's nothing really more efficient than just having them in a line and cutting them down. So it really doesn't get much more simple than doing that. Now our oak tree farm will be similar, but we're going to cram about nine of them right here and just let them grow. The thing that's going to be different about this farm compared to the birch farm compared to the birch farm is of course that we will need to limit the height. Don't know why I'm explaining it like that because you probably already know this. But here we should be able to get a good amount of trees and not get any of the large trees. Let's do a quick test to make sure each of these grow. This one should have no issue. Okay. And then make sure one of these grows. Okay. Now I'd like it to be a little taller, but eh, what are you gonna do? Wood is wood. Now things look to be growing on their own. So let's get a chest right here for this wood and these saplings and a chest right here for this wood and these sap. Now for the last three sapling types, it's a little interesting on how you can farm them. But because they're so unique in their shape, they make them hard uh, to farm something like this. You know, you can't really have an organized area. So what I'm going to do instead is build its own little, just general area to farm these trees in. And this one really is just a five by five square where I'm going to plant the tree in the middle and grow it. Because if I'm being honest, I don't see myself using mangrove wood, cherry wood, or acacia wood that much in the future. And of course, I'm going to finish all of this off and make it look pretty. But for now, I just want to get the basics down so that I have the option to plant any sapling I need in the near future. Now, just to fill in these areas a little bit so that it's just not hanging out over the edge. All right, well, it's definitely not pretty, but it gets the job done. Here, I'm just gonna go ahead and plant one of these. Uh, <laughs> I mean, bone mealing, it's not gonna do anything. I don't have any bone meal, but that is every single type of wood accounted for and farmable. Thank you everyone for taking the time to watch my video today. In this episode, we are able to account for every single tree and how we can farm it at a basic level. Next episode, I believe we'll be working on an iron farm of sorts and generally preparing one of the villages near my mountain to become the raid bait. Until next time, I'm Beanin. This is another Minecraft Let's Play. Peace.